Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Don't go by how I look, but I'm getting it in. Amen. I tell you, when you miss a day, it really makes a difference. So I said, let me get out here a little earlier because I need to get these joints moving and get them lubricated. And that's right. When I grow older, I want to still be younger. How about that? I want to age back, but like the words say. So here I am. We out here. I'm out here. All right. What y'all doing today? You might want to get out there and do something. It don't have to be much. Like I always say, as long as you're moving and you want to move in the right direction. I saw my neighbor, uh, when he be out working in the yard, he have a towel underneath his hat. And I said, huh, that's, let me see what that's about. So I tried it one day and I said, oh, that's, that worked pretty good, y'all. It kind of give you a little shade on your face. And uh, it makes it a little cooler. So I thought I'd try it today. <laughs> what y'all think? Hey, hey, whatever, 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 whatever it takes, right? Just get it in. So it's a great day. It's a nice breeze right now. I tell you, if you want to get it in, you got to get out. <laughs> you can't say I'm going to get it in and you're sitting there. You got to get out. Get out. Do what you can. A little nasty out here, but uh, I'm going to defeat them too. So, just checking in with everybody. want to encourage you today that if things didn't go according to your plan, just relinquish your plan and take on God's plan. And uh, see what he got to say to you today. See what he got to say about the plans that you made. And make sure it's in accordance with his will. We were reading the other day, uh, a week ago, and we are studying from the book of John. And we talked about how when he said ask, he's getting ready to, he's on his way to the crucifixion. He's the only man I know that can tell his story on his way to his crucifixion and still tell the truth. By God, I'm sorry. Can you tell your story even though you're going through a whole bunch of stuff? And the disciples had questions and he had answers. But the interesting thing was he had the same answer. I'm doing what the Father sent me to do. How long uh, you been with me all this time? You, you still want to know where the Father who the father is if you seen me you seen the father so they asked the questions and he kept saying the same thing i'm getting ready to go y'all this is my final discourse and some of these things y'all not gonna understand until i was sin. you know the pharisees they couldn't understand when he said destroy this temple he said in three days <laughs> oh, he gonna raise he gonna rise again they're like what is how is he gonna build a building you see where their mind was how he gonna build a building in three days? They had no concept. They couldn't even fathom what he was talking about. Cause they were so busy trying to catch him in a fault. Y'all ever seen people always trying to catch you in a fault? No matter what you do good, they trying to find a fault. Some people will follow you. Just trying to find a fault, trying to make you trip, trying to see if you gonna trip up. So they can have a word, a bad word about you. But no matter how long and how much they followed Jesus and how much they were, you know, trying to be negative, everything. Well, the law said, Jesus stuck to the word. Ha, glory be to God. Somebody come up in your face today. They say, what the law say? Tell them what Jesus said. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming to the Father but by me. I'm the only door that you're going to get to the Father by. Ha, glory be to Jesus. You know, a thief can't come in. There is no other way. He is the only way. He, he is the door. He's not standing in the door. He is the door. So um, if you want to get to the Father, you got to come through Jesus. Ha, glory be to Jesus. I'm all excited, right? Y'all can tell. It's early. I'm getting it in. Getting it all in, word and all. So, God is good, and uh, He just stuck with the word. So it is true. You can ask anything in His name, 
but it has to be according to his word and it has to glorify God. That's the part we miss. We be like, well, Lord, I, I asked for a car. Did you need one? Well, uh, I asked for a house. Did you need one? Well, uh, I asked for a new pair of shoes. Do, do you really need a new pair of shoes? You got 400 in the closet already. Well, uh, I asked him uh, to save my child. He's not going to do it against the child's will because he gave everybody a choice. And notice most of the things that we ask for, they um nothing to do with our spirit man. Can we ask God to uh, help us be more forgiving? Can we ask God to help us be more loving? Since he said to the disciples, now look, I want y'all to love as I have love. You know, that's some tough love. God, Jesus loved everybody, no matter what they did, no matter how much them Pharisees was on his back. He still loved them, no matter how much they criticized him. You know, when he healed a blind man, wait a minute. Maybe he wasn't blind in the first place because they didn't want to believe the miracles that he did. They didn't want to believe that he turned the water into wine. They, they didn't want to believe nothing. They just, they didn't want to believe he was the Messiah. So you're going to always have that group. They're not, they're not going to believe nothing. But that's okay. You just keep right on going. So why can't we ask God some of those things? Um, help me be a better person. Help me treat my, uh, my neighbor right. Help me treat my church members right. You know, a lot of stuff going on in the church. That's why he said judgment begins in where? In the house of faith. That's where he come in. He don't need to go out there and get, why are you going out there for? He done gave those that are not in the house of faith. He'd given them every opportunity. He taught them we are to go out and make disciples. And y'all, if they don't hear at whatever point, he said when you go to their house, you greet them, peace be unto this house. If they don't receive you, shake the dust. In other words, back on out of there. Stop trying to stay in somebody's house too long. Stop trying to stay in there so long, trying to save somebody who ain't thinking about being saved. If they don't receive it and you have given the word, shake the dust. Back out. Go on about your business. What? Go on to the next house. Because the next house, there might be somebody that's really anxious and they want to receive. Amen. So I just want to encourage you today. God is good. He's good all the time. All the time, he's good. I'm hot, but I'm not hot all the time. How about that? Because uh, God got a way of sending a breeze. Ooh, thank you, G. Ooh, just hear the shade. Ooh, ain't that good? Ooh, have mercy. Go ready, guy. All right, y'all. Have a wonderful day. Have a great day in Jesus' name. And just know that he is the way. Uh, he's the truth. And whatever... Your prayer request on the altar today. When you prayed it, you got to know if you prayed it according to your faith, you believed it, then you shall receive it. If you didn't and you prayed amiss, don't you look for nothing because it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So, God is good. I'm going to get my flying hat on in here. Hey, how about that, y'all? Look at that. Ah! I'm so glad I came out here today because I miss my walking partner who is nobody but me. But that's okay. So, you know, you got to motivate yourself. Yesterday I said, oh, Lord, it's too hot. But then I got out too late, so that was my fault, right? But today I said, I'm getting up. And I'm so glad I did. I thank God I didn't die in my sleep. Hallelujah! That's enough to turn this trail out. Glory be to Jesus. I thank God I didn't die in my sleep. Glory to God. And if you're watching this, Video, you didn't die in your sleep. Ha! <laughs> glory to God. And so you need to praise him. Give him glory and give him honor. This is the day that the Lord has made. I'm excited. Hallelujah. By who he is. Who is he? My king of kings, my Lord of lords. He's a sovereign God. He's a holy God. Hallelujah. He's my wonderful counselor, mighty God. He's my prince of peace. Y'all, I'm gone. I'm cool. Jesus, good praise Jesus. Glad I'm on the track, child. I can run if I want to. But anyway, I want y'all to know this. This this right here, right here. Ooh, I'm walking in this glory, y'all. I feel his presence. Ain't nothing like the presence of God. And I tell you this, my God from Zion is the best morning. Hallelujah. Mm, hallelujah. I'll ever have. Glory be to Jesus. Today. Y'all better catch it. 
Bye now.